Leo placements. Leo. Leo. It's like calling someone. Leo. Mm -mm. Leo. The Six of Pentacles. That's a good energy. sense so i see that you've had some type of uh, confirmation from your intuition spirit guides dream which told you that a connection that you are involved in is not going anywhere it doesn't matter if you give this person the world they will still say is that it just gonna give me the world really when the universe exists like that's that's all you're going to offer me the world not good enough and this person will continue on making you feel that you're not good enough so you've had the confirmation from spirit telling you well it's time to expand or it's time to leave this behind and I see you're coming to that conclusion or making peace with that decision whether you have taken the action towards it or not because it feels it's still not settled hmm. okay your like your emotions are not settled specifically here i feel like you're finally I mean, I say finally, but for you, for this energy, you're finally realizing that I'm going to have to love me first. I'm going to have to stop compromising for this person. I'm going to have to set some fucking serious boundaries. Like this bitch got the best of me and they're still not satisfied. And it's ridiculous. I agree with you because they, like I said, you could have given them the fucking world and they're still like, really? That's it? Just the world really that's it that's it just the world have you heard of the universe just have you, do you know how big the universe is and you're just giving me the world that's that's what i mean that's 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 all you care like that that, that is that the amount of care you care about me like i feel very fucking selfish energy coming from the person that you could have had feelings for because you're very much towards the end of not feeling a thing for this person. And so I see you prioritizing yourself when it comes to this connection. You're finally, you know, just saying enough. I'm not going to give you fuck all. And you might have taken the world back and saying, well, now you get nothing, bitch. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this connection is or was nothing but a fucking burden. Nothing was enough. Whatever you offer this person, not good enough. And like I said, you could have given them so much, but it still wasn't enough. And you're like, well, if, you know, there is so much wrong with me and this connection, then... I better stop giving a fuck along with actual giving. This is physical giving. So you could have um, expressed your love um, 
to show how much you care through gift giving or through acts of service or making uh, like uh, sentimental gestures that you care. But this person, not fucking worth it if you ask me. Not fucking worth it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what else to say about this shit? Is there anything to say besides this? Well, that flew away like it didn't want to come out. Oh. Yeah. Very interesting. Look at this card. Do you see how this cat is this cat is investing? Like attending to the plants. But can you see what's happening down here? Her tail is getting caught in fire. That's you. Some of you, specifically specifically the ones that uh need to hear this is that you could be still with this person still giving them the the things that you are giving them not realizing that it's you're burning your tail meaning that you are dipping in your savings or dipping in something that you could have kept for emergencies or something like i feel like you're exerting yourself or doing more then you should now it wouldn't matter if this person is deserving of that but this piece of shit doesn't deserve it okay i'm gonna be real with you they don't deserve your energy they don't deserve whatever that you have been giving them and you might think well i've been giving them that for so long so i can't just take it away it's just you know you know when you give a uh, gift someone something but you could use the value of that gift or the money of that gift or use the actual gift. It could be like something you could use yourself. And so you're thinking, well, I mean, it's rude to even ask for it back. It's not really rude. It's yours. I mean, if you do not need it, then it's fine. But I feel like you you do. Like, you know when you spend more than you have? You could be putting yourself in debt just because you have promised more to the person that you thought was the one for you. But the cards have changed. Meaning that this person's true colors have been revealed. There is no need for you to further invest. Just because you invested for God, how's long, God knows how long doesn't mean that you have to continue the investment in this person. You could reuse, resource the things that you are giving this person currently knowing that they are not the one for you. You get where this is going? So, uh, okay, what else do you want to tell Leo? Your intuition is so switched on right now, Leo. Make the most of it. If you're not into those things, but sometimes we go through phases and then certain spirit uh, uh, spirit guides come into our life to guide us regardless if we are aware of it or not. Sometimes you hear a thought in your head thinking it's yours, but in fact, it's a spirit guide. It's your higher self and so on. So... You have strong intuition at this time, which is telling you that where you are with this person is not where you're supposed to be. And this intuition coming in or downloaded by you is, um, let me say, it's uh, freeing. Because it's clearing out what 
does not serve you. And when I say serve you, this person, I mean, it doesn't look like they've done much, but whatever they do, you do way more. So if you think, yeah, they give you things, but you do way more, you give more. There is no balance. There is no balance here. Okay. Yeah, some of you could be even forgetting that you are a fucking Leo. Because you've been with this person for so long, you're, you you forgot your fucking worth. I can't believe I, I'm saying that to a Leo. This person could have emotionally abused you or verbally abused you to tame you. You know what happens when you tame a lion? They start to break with time. They start to obey. They start to comply. This person had you in a cage, and now that the door is open, you're still staying in the cage. You know what I mean? And that is not you. So there is um, the need to remind you that you're a fucking lion, and the door to the cage is open. All you have to do is walk out. Now, you might be in the cage right now and you're like, oh, I see that the door is open, but can I just walk away from this? We are in the middle of nowhere. If I walk out the cage, will I be fed? Because this person feeds me. So, I mean, even though they're a piece of shit, they still feed me though. If I go out in this empty jungle or empty desert, Will I even find anything to eat? Or will I starve to death? Is life outside the cage worse than living in the cage? Like, I see some stupid questioning to justify you staying in the cage while the door to the cage is open. <laughs> but let me, let me remind you. I mean, you want to see what's out, outside the cage? Let me show you. Oh, I'm not supposed to show you. Four pentacles. This is like, shh, don't say it. Yeah, you know, this is something you have to do. I don't want to say blindly because you're not fucking blind. You can see. What I mean by you can see is actually you can see that where you are is not where you're supposed to go. But there's a part of you that got comfortable in this fucking cage. And you're, you're, you're kind of finding an excuse to stay there, okay? Um, by saying, well, it's, it's not that simple or it's complicated. And the reason why I'm not supposed to tell you what's outside the cage is because the spirit is wanting to make you believe in yourself before you go up there. So, it's like you'll have to risk it to find out. I mean, at the beginning of the reading, we, we, we clearly see that a heavy burden is being removed from you. Basically, the door to the cage opening. So, spirit is like, I found the key. I'm opening the door for you. And you're like, oh, the door is open. But, if this person finds me outside of the cage, they might shoot me dead. But, if I leave this person, I, I possibly won't survive or find anything to eat, survive on. You see what I mean? And the bummer side of this, that I can't tell you what's waiting outside of that fucking cage. Because you're meant to believe in yourself. It, you're not meant to... It's almost like, I'm not meant to show you like a donut in front of a treadmill. But you're meant to know why it's important for you to be on a treadmill. Does that make sense? Because the motivation showing you the blessing is a cheat. 
You have to develop the belief and the discipline to go on a treadmill with no temptation. And so when the blessings come in your life, they are sweet, unexpected blessings. Not, oh, because I walked outside the gate, nothing, nothing different. It is expected. Yes, the earth is abundant. So it's not be, it, it won't be like satisfying or as motivating. I'm basically cheating you. You see what I mean? Like when you put a donut in front of someone to make them run, you're cheating them. You're not helping them. You're cheating them. Because they need to develop that desire for themselves and that discipline for themselves. And then maybe if there is a donut by the end of it, without you, without them expecting there to be a donut, then it's a nice reward, right? The brain will actually think that the reward is to do, uh, like if you train the brain to have a reward without expecting a reward, the, tr the brain will be more disciplined or even motivated because that's that's what basically makes motivation uh, a fuel a lot of people will fall off when there is no motivation but the difference between winners and losers is discipline not motivation you know how many days i w wake up and think oh my god i don't want to do anything but discipline is what gets me out discipline is what makes me attend to my responsibilities. Now, I'm not saying that there are times where I question everything and possibly even not do my, the things that I'm supposed to do. But once you start to keep the ball rolling, it gets easier because the discipline gets shaped within you. Okay, we'll leave it there. Let's talk about other people's energy in yours. Besides this motherfucker that uh, has you in a cage, lion. I was going to say lion instead of Leo. But uh, same shit, different smell. Let's see, whatever prominent energy that is in Leo's, show me. Could be a Sagittarius that you have in your energy. Or cancer or they have both they have it somewhere in their chart you have someone here that can help you move into abundance they could be uh, more than friends they could be a friend or more than a friend. Fucking powerful manifester. They can make anything happen. I do want to clarify the Nine of Swords. Okay, so they're going through something that is to do with their money. What about it? Oh my God, too many cards. Let's see. Let me see how many freaking cards came out. So there is a mixed energy here. I'm, I'm not sure if this is just one person or a group of people, because it can be a group of people. It could be like a friend circle that you have here, especially because, uh, you know, the, the temperance came in and then the chariot came, came in. And we also have the um, devil, which is the Capricorn. And we have, what else? I swear there was another one, no? 
these are the major arcanas here. I feel like you have people on your side that are not really on your side. These people you need to cut out of your life. There are people here that are playing games with you. Mind games. Opportunist. Oh. When I said uh, at the beginning that they there's a friend that is more than a friend or something like that, within that cycle, within that cycle, within that group of circle, you see how many people are gathered? It feels like there are a bunch of people here in your energy. At least one of them has um, feelings for you. And I say feelings as in more than a friend feelings. So there is attraction, sexual attraction possibly, or deeper feelings where they have feelings for you. Okay, so could you be more specific with this energy? Because I'm not sure what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so you have been having dreams or confirmations downloads in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams because you're getting answers there. Wow, this uh, more than a friend energy is becoming prominent. Yeah, I see that you're you're grabbing a lot of attention, Leo, which is no biggie, right? But it seems like at this time, there is someone specifically that's being mentioned to you, which is a friend that is more than a friend. And they could be either communicating to you in your dreams or they're sending you something. I feel like they're sending you some type of energy to attract you on the energy level to communicate with you. So they could be visiting your dreams or you could be, um, yeah, I feel like they're visiting your dreams. They could be trying to influence you in your dreams. And in a way, Manipulate is the more appropriate word here. To get some bit, get some pit, you know? So, I'm gonna extend this and we'll talk about their intentions, their actions, and what is needed to be mentioned about this person specifically because there's something here i mean yeah i mean they want something close with you more than a friend but i don't see the clearest or the i don't see i mean i see manipulation why is that why is that we'll we'll see we'll see we'll pull more cards and find out more about this person um uh, yeah, and the extended. The link will be in the description box. I will see you there.